the polls, the national, nationwide poll, uh, Biden is now leading. How do you explain that? It's going to go back and forth a lot between now and November. I'm sure that Trump's conviction has made somewhat of a difference for Biden. But remember, we have this debate next week, and that could also change a lot. We could see another flashback to Trump going ahead in the polls uh, himself, depending on how Biden performs. So I think that a bit of turbulence is to be expected. However, Trump is still making significant gains among demographics that really matter, including women, especially black and Hispanic women, young voters like myself. And he's basically reached the point of support among men that he was at back in 2016, mm. uh, which is another significant tell of which, which direction this election is heading towards. Yeah, that debate's going to be really important. Never Trumpers over at Fox News, unfortunately, are at it again. The likes of Rupert Murdoch, Paul Ryan, and Neil Cavuto are once again attempting to thwart the Trumpian surge, now with fake polls. We're going to see precisely why this latest poll coming from Fox is utter trash. And we're going to see how even forces within the Rupert Murdoch empire are admitting it and admitting that Trump is absolutely running away with this. Hey gang, with everything going on right now, it's hard to say what could happen or what will happen. And to make matters even worse, we usually don't find out until it's too late. But when it comes to your money, you should understand what's at stake. That's why I partnered with GoldCo. Now, you guys know I'm a big fan of hedging future risks with the timeless value of gold and silver. And that's why you've got to click on the link below or go to turleytalkslikesgold.com to get your free gold and silver kit. Gang, it's an amazing free resource that shows you step-by-step -step how to get into precious metals tax-free, and penalty free, even if your money's still in a retirement account like an IRA or 401k. And the best part is that you may already qualify to get up to $10,000 in free silver. You've seen the writing on the wall. Click on that link below or go to turleytalkslikesgold.com to get your free gold and silver kit right now because this is about taking back control of your freedom and your privacy. We can't predict the future, but we can certainly prepare for it. So don't wait. Take action now to defend your freedom, your privacy, and your future. Click on that link below right now. Let's dive right in here, gang. The never Trumpers over at Fox News are back at it again, and they're more utterly pathetic than ever. At the very moment that Trump appears to be absolutely breaking away in the polls, all, I mean, literally all the polls, the Fox so called news outlet, you know, the same so-called news outlet that gleefully called Arizona for Biden literally five seconds after their polls closed in 2020, all the while refusing to call Florida for Trump, even though he led the entire night for hours. That Rupert Murdoch never Trumper outlet that fired Tucker Carlson without ever explaining to either us or him why. Yeah. That so-called news outlet is now claiming that Biden is beating Trump. Take a look. I'm Brett Baer. We are releasing new Fox polls right now about the presidential race. President Biden gets his best result this election cycle in the head-to-head -head against former President Donald Trump. He leads 50 to 48. That is within the margin of error. President Biden hasn't been ahead of former President Trump in the polls since October 2023. He trailed Trump by one point last month again all within the margin of error, a very tight race. When listing extremely important issues to their vote, registered voters in this survey citing the future of democracy at 68 percent, the economy at 66, followed by stability and normalcy. Stop. Stop. I can't take it anymore. I, I, there, I, Brett Bear is breaking me. I cannot take this. Anymore. The future of democracy? That's the number one issue among the constituents they polled. The, the future of freaking democracy. I'm, I'm gobsmacked, as you would say, across the pond. I'm speech. I mean, seriously, seriously. Let's just take a step. Back. Serenity now. Serenity now. Take a step back. Name me one poll. One other poll from the most left-wing of outlets 
New York Times, Washington Post, CNN, name me one poll from any far left outlet anywhere in the country that shows that the number one issue among voters is the future of democracy. The number one. Number one. I'm just going to come out and say it. That's a lie. What you just heard is a flat out lie. And, and, and then to make it even more absurd, stability and normalcy. That's new. That's a category now. Stability and normalcy. What the hell does that even mean? And then you're telling us that, that more people prioritize this vague notion of stability and normalcy than the southern border chaos? Gang, seriously. I'm not kidding here. Seriously. I'm just going to say it. There is literally no difference. This is where we've come as a country. There is no categorical difference between Brett Baer in that segment, in, the, in that moment there. There is virtually no difference between Brett Baer and a North Korean news outlet. OK, you could have just shown that North Korean emblem that all that's it. Brett Bear, he just he can don his kimono and read off or whatever they call it in North Korea. They can read off state approved talking points just like they do in North Korean regime states. And there wouldn't be a shred of difference from what he just did right there. He's just reading off of polls concocted and fabricated and ultimately approved by the powers that be at Fox News. Rupert Murdoch's henchmen. And the more we dive into the crosstabs of this Fox News poll, the more stinky it becomes. Look at this. This poll actually has Biden winning the rural vote. The rural vote. 50 to 48, you know, the vote that voted for J.D. Vance, <laughs> the single most MAGA demographic on the planet. Fox News actually says, yeah, Biden wins them. Gang, if you believe that, if you believe that Biden is winning the rural vote, I've got beachfront property in Arkansas. I want to sell you. I'm serious. Give me a call. Let's make the deal. At the very least, that number is objectively speaking a total outlier at the very least. And Brett Baer should have told you that. But of course he didn't. It's a complete and total outlier that should immediately render the poll suspect. Here's another total outlier. The Fox poll has Trump beating Biden among white voters by just 6%, 46 to 40. Now, keep in mind, Every Republican since Richard Nixon has won the white vote by double digits. Trump won it by almost 20 points back in 2020. 20 in 2020. Again, name me one other poll, just one, that shows Biden actually poised now to win the white vote. President Trump himself wasted no time in trashing the Paul Ryan concocted poll. Posting on True Social, he wrote, quote, the latest Fox News poll is trash. They used a biased, Democrat-leaning sample of voters polling more Biden 2020 voters than Trump 2020 voters to skew the results in favor of Crooked Joe. I'm leading big in virtually every other poll, including in all the key battleground states like Wisconsin, where I just held a massive rally in Pennsylvania, where I'll be on Saturday. Also, the number one issue in this country is not protecting democracy. It's inflation and immigration. If it's protecting democracy, Trump is your best choice because Crooked Joe is the greatest threat to democracy in history with his open borders and weaponization of our justice system against his political opponent, me. Fox News polls have never treated me or MAGA fairly. That's actually true. Don't worry. We will win. Fox News should get rid of poll Ryan and get a new pollster, but they won't. Now, in an ironic twist of events, if you want 
further evidence that this Fox, no, uh, Fox News poll is absolutely absurd, take a look at the cover of today's New York Post. Now, keep in mind, this is the same owner as Fox. This is another Rupert Murdoch company, right? New York Post. Look at this headline as compared to that Fox News poll released yesterday. If you're listening by way of our 20 million podcast downloads, it says swing for the fences. It's got a picture of Trump holding a baseball bat poised to hit a home run. Swing for the fences. New poll has Trump up in every swing state, and he's battling for blue Minnesota and New York, too. Well. Well, 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 which is it? Which is, they both can't be true. Which is it? Is Biden up to nationally or is Trump absolutely crushing it in the swing states plus Minnesota and New York, deep blue, two deep blue states? Which is it? They can't both be true. If this isn't a polling fail on the part Fox, freaking Fox, man. What well, talk about a fall? I mean, if this isn't a fail, I don't know what is. Never Trump, Rupert Murdoch's Fox tells us Biden is surging. Polls have swung 15 points in his favor over the last few weeks. He's now officially beating Trump. And at the same time, the same never Trumper Rupert Murdoch's New York Post tells us, nope, never mind, never mind. <laughs> sorry, guys. Nope, sorry, sorry. Little outlier there. Trump is actually knocking it out of the park. He's crushing it in the polls. Pay no attention to Fox. He's actually poised to win freaking New York and Minnesota. So what the heck gives here? What's going on? There is a theory of what Fox is doing here. And ironically, the claim is that it's there to help Trump. It's the polar opposite of Fox trying once again to sabotage Trump. There is an alternative theory here that you should know about. And it's very, very interesting in terms of this Fox News poll. The theory is, is that in the end, even though he's a never Trumper, Rupert Murdoch and the vast majority of the billionaire class actually want Trump back. They want Trump back for a, var a variety of reasons, obviously the economy, but more than that, the lawfare, the weaponized legalism, that freaked them out. Because if the Democrats can do that to Trump, obviously they can do that to any bill. And they've been watching what the state of Delaware has been doing to Elon Musk. So they're starting to freak out a little bit, thinking maybe we need a bit of a regime change here. Okay. What's the best way to guarantee a rapidly cognitively declining candidate remain the nominee? What's the best way to guarantee that Biden does not get replaced? Because obviously, if Biden could get replaced, that could possibly jumpstart the Democrats and lead them to victory, right? With a Michelle or a Hillary or whatever. I mean, that's the theory. I don't think it would, but. And so, what better way to assuage the fears of concerned Democrats like James Serpenthead Carvel? Uh, looking at those, those those polls, it's like it's like walking in on your grandmother naked. Can't get out of your mind. Rather, what's the best way? What's the better way to assuage the fears of concerned Democrats? Democrats concerned about ailing Joe, than to show some polls with Biden up. Yeah, you're going to have to finagle the uh, internals, but they don't care. They're not looking at that. They just see, ah, Biden's up. Biden's beating Trump by two, by, by two points. Wow. That's one of the theories out there. That Fox is actually, ironically, intentionally trying to manipulate the Democrats into keeping Biden in the race so Trump could actually crush him in November in an electoral landslide, which every single poll, this leads to the second part, 
of our video here. Every single poll out there, literally every single poll shows he's poised to do. Trump is poised to win in an electoral blowout. So I would take that theory for what it's worth. Now, let me show you, speaking of this blah, let me show you what is really happening here in the polls. Because again, the New York Post cover story alluded to this, all right? Trump is surging in deep blue Minnesota and in deep blue New York. Trump is crushing it in at least two deep, Blue state. We we can add Virginia in that. It's actually three states, three blue states. I don't know why. Maybe they just didn't have it in their in the uh, the polling that they looked. I think it was the Emerson polling. Trump is crushing it in three blue states, and that's huge in terms of understanding what's really going on in the polling. All right. So let's just start with New York. And again, I just want to take you a step back. Again, huge shout out. I always give him a shout out because he deserves it more than anyone. Rich Barris, the People's Pundit has taught me more than anyone else how to read and analyze polls. So uh, go out and, and uh, subscribe to Rich's uh, YouTube channel, his Rumble channel, The People's Pundit. He is amazing. He, I, I mean, the guy is, ugh, I can't speak enough of him. Let's start with New York. Again, one of the bluest of blue states in the nation. The latest Siena College poll that just dropped, I believe the other day, it's the latest in a number of polls that all show the same thing. Biden is leading Trump in New York by single digits. In this case, by eight points. Biden is leading Trump by eight points in a state that he won by nearly 25 points in 2020. Let that soak in. Biden is leading Trump by eight points in a state that he won by nearly 25 points. It's not just a colossal collapse of support. It is a poll that cannot be true and at the same time that Fox News poll be true. Trump can't be nipping at Biden's heels in one of the bluest states in the union and at the same time be losing to Biden in the national vote. And one of the reasons for this is because New York independents are breaking for Trump big time. He's got a double digit lead among New York independents. And, and here's the key. Trump right now is far more likely to win New York than Biden is to win Texas or Florida or Nor North Carolina for that matter. Again, Rich Barris does a masterful job and and assessing all of this. That's a very important objective dynamic to understanding where the state of the race is today. Trump is more likely to win a deep blue state right now as we speak than Biden is to win any, any light red state. I don't think, I mean, you'll see like Texas and Florida and North Carolina uh, as being light red. I don't think they're light red. I think they're deep red. Regardless, that's what you're going to see on the election projection maps like, you know, Decision Desk and 538 and real clear politics and life. But the point is, Trump is more likely to win a deep blue state than Biden is to win a light red or lighter red state. Here's another way of making sense of this polling. Let's take a look at the latest polls coming out of Virginia as well as Minnesota, right? So these are two solid, and I mean solid, Democrat states, at least when it comes to presidential elections. Minnesota was the lone state that voted for Mondale in 84. Virginia hasn't voted Republican since 2004 in 20 years. They're both highly reliable Democrat states for presidential politics. Right now, as we speak, Biden is in danger of losing both. I mean, very real danger. There are two highly, these are two highly reliable Democrat states, and Biden is in danger of losing both. We now have three polls in a row in the last two weeks, all showing the same thing. Trump and Biden are tied in Virginia. We're getting poll after poll showing that Trump and Biden 
are tied in the state that Biden won by 10 points, by double digits in 2020. And at the same time, they're tied in Minnesota. Now, again, in terms of analysis, by comparison, name me one, not, not two, one, one reliably Republican state, a Republican state that is as reliably Republican as Virginia and Minnesota are reliably Democrat. Name me one reliably Republican state that Trump is in danger of losing. Oh, wait, go ahead. Do your research. Google it. Find me a single reliably Republican state on par with Minnesota or Virginia in terms of their Democrat fidelity that Trump is in danger of losing. There isn't one. Doesn't exist. No one's talking about it, that's for sure. Now, that's an important cross tab, as it were, to understand the overall macro dynamics of the polling. The bottom line, regardless of what a single individual poll says, the bottom line, when you take the collection of polls that are out there and aggregate them, adver uh, average them, and then, uh, then cross-reference them right now as we speak, it's Biden who is in danger of losing at least two reliably blue states, whereas Trump is not in any way, shape, or form in comparable danger with red states. It's really that simple. Now, we can continue the analogy. We can continue cross-tabbing as it were. If Trump is poised to win Virginia and Minnesota, if that's where we are right now in the election, then there is no possible scenario where he loses Arizona, Georgia, Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. Why, you say? What? How, how do you leap from Virginia to Minnesota to to the Sun Belt and to the, to the Blue Wall. Well, it's not hard because each one of these states, Arizona, Georgia, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, each and every one of those states is significantly more Republican than is either Virginia or Minnesota. Arizona, Georgia, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, they're all you know, plus four, plus six, plus seven, plus nine Republican in comparison to either Minnesota or Virginia. So the key here is that Trump doesn't actually have to win Virginia or Minnesota. That's not, don't, that's noise. Don't let the signal, as Steve Bannon always says, don't let the signal get lost in the noise. That's noise. It's not a question of whether Trump is going to pull off an extraordinary win in New York or Virginia or Minnesota. That's not what's important here. That's not at least the important indicator here. That would be great. That is certainly possible, but that's not the prize. The fact that we're even talking about Biden possibly losing those reliably Democrat states is important, not because he actually will lose them, it's important because the polling is indicative of how he will lose the blue wall states of Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and the Sun Belt states of Arizona and Georgia, and certainly Florida and North Carolina. I think those are gone. And it's precisely because there are more Republicans in those states. Again, the logic here is rather simple. If Biden is in danger of losing states that are heavily Democrat, how much more is he in danger of losing states that are far more Republican?